get right to it in this video I'm going to show you how to make money on Clickbank for free but before I do so let's actually look inside of one of my brand new Clickbank accounts we made hundred and seventy six dollars and eighty eight cents last week thirty one dollars and eighty six cents the week before that and if we look at my other income streams I've made on J July 14 yesterday I made a thousand twenty nine dollars so making thousand dollar paydays but if you guys want to just get started and even if an extra $31 per day, not even thousand dollar days, but an extra $31 per day would benefit you and then eventually hundred dollar days and eventually if you stick through with this method I'm about to teach you thousand dollar paydays, then stick to the very end of this video. So step number one is pick a niche. Basically what is a niche? A niche is a category. Make sure your niche has a demand. So the easiest way to make sure that your niche has a demand is basically the evergreen niche is health, wealth, and romance. So inside ClickBank, if you go to the affiliate marketplace, it's gonna go ahead and allow you on the left hand column to pick through these different categories. I decided to go ahead and actually go with the self-help niche. And in the self-help niche, we did a sub niche, which is basically dating. So target audience, helping women find love, right? So you could do like it. another one of my brands, I'm doing the wealth niche, and then we're going to a sub niche, which is the make money online niche, and then we're going even more of a sub niche, which is affiliate marketing. So in wealth, there could be real estate, and then there could be like make money online. But under real estate, there could be wholesaling, and then there could be flipping commercial properties. But under make money online, there could be affiliate marketing, e-commerce, so on and so forth. So specifically, I'm doing self-help in dating. And then I'm specifically in dating, helping women find their dream lover. So, boom, we have our niche. Next, what we want to do is we want to go to step number two, build a brand. So, we're going to choose a brand name. In this specific instance, I did innovative love right innovative love is basically i literally just use the base name love and then i use something called instant domain search right so if i go to instant domain search if you guys want to learn how to build a brand name literally just go to instant domain search.com and when you guys go to instant domain search it's going to go ahead and allow you to use what is called a domain name generator and let's just say i was in the I could use a base word like money, right? So for example, money EK is available, money IK is available, money landscaping. Now obviously none of these are really cool domain names, but Deco Money, like maybe Deco Money, or I decided to use the base word love and ended up finding innovative love, right? So Lavation, Lavans, Enterprise Love, To Love, or Tour Love, Lovick. Right, these are Love Johnson, right? Basically use a base word that is associated with your niche. I use love and then came up with the name Innovative Love. And that's basically the brand name that I decided to do. The next thing is what we're going to do when we come up with that brand name is we're gonna go ahead and actually create a YouTube channel. So basically what I decided to do with Innovative Love is instead of putting my face behind it, I actually put one of my friends, Kelsey Ann, behind it. This is her beautiful face. And this is Kelsey Ann, basically, she's interested in the romance niche. I asked her if she wanted to make some extra money. She said, heck yeah. So I said, okay, cool. You go ahead and be the face of this brand. I'll be the brains. So basically what she's doing is this is her. And I created the YouTube channel. That's why this is literally in my YouTube account. So if you guys, if I was to go to switch accounts here, I have Eric Ellis. I have Wolves Academy. I have different channels here. We have Innovative Love, which... Kelsey is the brand behind it, and we also have the domain name, innovativelove.com. So if you guys can get the domain name as well, then go ahead and get the domain name. Um, now, obviously, I did say that this is completely free, what I'm going to be teaching you guys. So if you guys don't want to buy the domain name for eight measly dollars, completely up to you. But create the YouTube channel, buy the domain name, and then now we have a brand. Now I'm going to go ahead and actually start where we're catching some traction here, right? So after we have a brand, my brand is Innovative Love, in this case, in the romance niche, and I've identified who I want to serve. I want to serve women who are who are trying to find love. Now you gotta go ahead and pick an offer that is gonna go ahead and help serve that audience. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose a converting offer in that niche. Now the easiest way to choose a converting offer is if you guys go to ClickBank, and let's just say I do self-help, right? I pick self-help, literally the first options are usually gonna be the highest converting offers, right? So this one has 179 gravity scores. That means 170, 179 people are successfully promoting this product. And then we have water freedom system, that's not really. So another one could be like, 
let's see new high converter for women's list so this is I don't know what the heck it is, but Gravity Score 44. So here's another product that I could promote, or even Text Chemistry, which has 78 people successfully promoting this product. So basically, find a product that can help serve your audience. Now, for those who don't know what these actual products look like, right? And ClickBank, this is basically when you go ahead and actually press promote. This is the affiliate link that you're going to be promoting. So this is literally a sales video that's going to do all the selling. You don't have to basically do any of the selling. You don't have to recruit anybody. You don't have to speak to friends and family. You can literally go ahead and get website visitors to this sales video. And as long as they're the right audience who's in the market for buying a product or solving the specific problem that the product solves, they will buy your products, right? So now I, I picked my offer. Now I got to get my affiliate link. So I'm simply going to press promote. Once I press promote, I'm going to go ahead and get access to an affiliate link like this, but I'm going to use a tracking ID and the tracking ID that I used was called a YouTube because I know that this traffic is going to be coming from the YouTube channel and then I'm going to go ahead and actually generate a hop link. So this is the link that I'm going to be using. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, if you don't want to buy a domain name, look, boom, I use bit.ly.com, which is a link shortener. And what I decided to do was literally go ahead and um, create a link called learn his secret obsession. The actual offer is called his secret obsession. And if I go ahead and type that into my web browser, the link that is going to go ahead and open is going to be his secret obsession. So I'm literally going to be direct linking from my YouTube channel. Now, with that being said, if we look at our to do list, right, pick an offer, choose an offer. In that niche, I chose an offer, his secret obsession, get your affiliate link. We got our affiliate link. I created a bit.ly link. Now, step number four, it's time to go ahead and actually create content. So basically, if you guys look here, it says find an influencer to model. So I'm gonna go back to actual YouTube. And then what are some of the things that the people who would be interested in what I'm trying to solve, right? What would they be searching? So I'm gonna go to youtube.com and I'm going to go ahead and type in how to flirt with a guy right because that's probably or even how to get a guy to commit right but basically all in all matthew hussey and this is literally actively what we're doing with this brand new brand right now matthew Hello. matthew hussey is an influencer with 2.08 million subscribers in the relationship niche he says the leading dating advice for women and then if i go to sort by on his channel and i go to most popular you're going to see his most popular videos right so let's go back to our actual list here we found an influencer to model right find top content we just found the top content by uh, sifting through the most popular and then model what's working so we're gonna go ahead and look at his most popular videos how to text guys three man phrases that something 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 uh, this is going to get him addicted to you um, get him to chase you so you see this one get him to chase you right so we found an influencer to model and then what we did is we started literally modeling. So if you guys look here, how to get a guy to commit, get him to chase you, how to make him or her fall for you. So check out this video right here, get him to chase you. If we go back to Matthew Hussey, one of his top videos is get him to chase you. This is an eight minute and 56 second video of him literally just freaking talking. And then what do we do with Kelsey? This is a different video, but this is how to get a guy to commit. This is literally her just sitting in her living room for seven minutes talking about the specific subject and helping her tribe, helping her audience. Who's her tribe? Women who want to learn how to attract their dream lover. So we've literally created three pieces of content so far, how to get a guy to commit, how to get a guy to chase you, how to make him or her fall for you. And right, boom, we got started. We literally just started creating content. Now. Eventually, as your channel picks up, and if you guys stick with me to the very end, I'm gonna go ahead and actually show you guys some bonus content of how to actually get people to your videos with zero subscribers. But how do we actually start making money with this? How do we monetize? Step number five is you wanna insert your links in your bio. So if you look at our most recent video that has 22 views that I'm super excited about, now some of you guys may be like 22 views, that's nothing. Guys, we have two freaking subscribers. We have two subscribers, 22 views is amazing. And I'm gonna show you guys different ways that you guys can increase your view count but basically want to learn how to get a guy to commit to you watch this and then if you guys look in the description every man is secretly obsessed with this so what you're going to do is when you're creating your youtube videos you're going to go ahead and actually go in the description and literally put your bit.ly link if you notice does this link look familiar learn his secret obsession you click the link right there and 
It says his secret obsession. Boom. It's literally driving them directly to the affiliate link. So let's go ahead and actually look back at here. Insert your link in your bio. Provide value in your video. So we are providing seven minutes of value. She is. And then after the video, what is she doing? She's giving a call to action. Hey, ladies, if you guys gain any value from this video, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like this video, and also make sure to hit the notifications bell to basically get notified every time I drop a new video. And additionally, for those who want to go ahead and take their relationship level to the next level or learn way more about finding your dream lover, I actually have a free training for you guys down below. If you click the first link in my description, that'll basically show you exactly what you need to know to attract your dream lover. Boom, that's my call to action after my seven minutes of value. They go ahead and say, okay, cool, this was an amazing video. Let me go ahead and figure out what training she's talking about. Boom, I click the train, I click the link, I get redirected to the training, and then boom, what happens? We get ClickBank commissions. So, with that being said, right, is okay, you're probably thinking, and this is where, where we're gonna go going, this is what we're going to cover in the bonus. How the heck do I promote my videos? Eric, I have zero freaking subscribers. How do I even get people to actually look at my videos? Right? I know the whole framework. Pick a niche, build a brand, pick an offer, create content, and then monetize that. But I'm not going to be able to monetize it if nobody's watching my videos, right? Precisely. You are 100% correct. So these are three simple tips that you can use to go ahead and actually promote your YouTube videos if you have zero subscribers. Now, the first one is ask bloggers to embed in their blog post. So what does that mean? If you have people who are, if I was to go to Google and type in how to get a guy to commit, how to get a guy to commit, right? I could literally go through all these different blog posts. So I can scroll, and by the way, if you guys look, Matthew Hussey as well, get him to commit. So this is literally the other piece of content that we modeled. But how to get a guy to commit Huffington Post. So happily committed. Right? I have no idea who the heck happily committed, but what I'll do is go through all these different blog posts and then happy to commit. I'll go and actually scroll through on this blog post and I'll see if they have any YouTube video embedded on this and they don't have any YouTube videos embedded on this. So what I would do, or actually they do, boom. So I'd attract a husband emotionally, but let's just say they didn't have a YouTube video. This guy is actually doing it correctly, but let's just say they didn't have a YouTube video. What I would do is I would go ahead and actually reach out to the person who owns this brand. So Coach Adrian, right? I'd reach out to whoever owns the brand of the blog, contact us, boom, I'd reach out to them and I'll say, hey, I see you don't have a YouTube video on said blog post. This, I created uh, content for my YouTube. Maybe we might be able to do some sort of partnership to where you can go ahead and display display my YouTube video on your blog post. And then you're going to lead with the benefit. How does this benefit them? The way this is going to benefit you is my video is six minutes long. If you go ahead and, and get people to stay on your website for six minutes longer, it's going to increase the watch time on your actual blog and it's going to go to improve your rankings more people are going to see your blog more people are going to see your brand it's a win-win for everybody it gets me more views it gets your blogs more watch time and everybody wins sure let's do it boom you just got somebody to display it now you're going to go and get more views and they're going to win as well it's a win-win situation and additionally leverage existing audience so do you have an instagram already do you have a pinterest already do you have something where you wouldn't mind sharing your your actual audience. So for example, I currently have, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys an email list on something called active campaign. So this is inside my actual active campaign dashboard. I currently have 26,000 leads, right? But I have different lists, different niches. So if I go ahead and actually click my list here, we have two separate lists. We have 146 leads on innovative love free training. And then we have 111 people just on the general email list. And the way that I'm building this email list is by running Facebook ads to a free training. So basically an opt-in page. After people opt in with their email, I redirect them to the sales video. And that's where these initial sales have came from. But I'm also building an audience. So I currently have over 200 leads right now. And with those 200 leads, I'm doing email broadcasts to my email list. So if you guys look at the actual 
most recent videos is most recent video and guys this is a brand new brand we have 22 views and those 22 views came from my email subscribers so i'm hitting them with a one two punch i'm literally going ahead and getting them on my email list and then after i get them on my email list i'm providing value to my email list by giving them access to my youtube videos but they're also giving me more views on my youtube content so this is allowing me to go ahead and start ranking my content a lot higher now last but not least is basically in-screen annotations so what does that mean basically an in-screen annotation is after somebody watches the video at the end of the video you can go ahead and display two more videos that are very similar so how to how to get a guy to commit what i can do is i can display these two thumbnails at the end of my video so as soon as somebody finishes watching my watching my videos i can say hey if you like that video there's going to be two more videos that you guys can take a look at and then I can go ahead and filter them to those different videos, right? And that's going to go ahead and number one, keep them on YouTube, which YouTube likes. And they're going to continue to watch my content to where they're going to become a raving fan. They're going to know, like, and trust me. And then eventually, because I get them to know, like, and trust me, whenever I make offers for them to buy stuff, they know me, they like me, they trust me. They're going to go ahead and actually trust my word and make purchases. So with that being said, ways to go ahead and actually promote yourself. Now, the easiest way, guys, in the long-term way is literally by ranking your YouTube videos. And the way that you rank your YouTube videos is literally using keywords that people are actively searching. So for this one is how to get a guy to commit, how to get a guy to commit. The keyword right here is get him to chase you. And the keyword right here is how to make him or her fall for you, right? And the easiest way, instead of guessing, just literally model what's successful. So if this one has millions of views, then obviously the words that he's using in his titles are working. So I'm just gonna go to model success and, instead of just trying to play the guessing game and figure it out myself. And then tips for success is consistent upload schedule. So our current upload schedule with this brand and one of my other brands is basically Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So instead of doing daily uploads, I'd say do three uploads per week, but quality over quantity, meaning don't go ahead and just put crap out there because you gotta you gotta understand right the quality of the content will determine the, the trust that you establish with your audience and the amount of trust that you gain with your audience will determine whether they de decide to keep on coming back number one and number two decide whether they decide to go and actually buy something in the future from you right it's the first impression if you continue to give them value on the front end they'll buy stuff from you on the back end next is don't also consistently upload consistently promote so create a plan of action. So I'm going to go ahead and reach out to 10 blogs per day or 50 blogs per day. I'm going to go ahead and create this many amount of content on my other social media platforms so I could build a following on them and then go ahead and drive track over there. Or I'm going to spend this much money per day on advertising to start building an email list so I can go ahead and start sending my traffic from my uh, email list to my YouTube channel. Create some sort of systemized plan of action for consistent video promotion and then also long-term thinking guys look you guys are probably looking at 22 views six views two views that's nothing eric who cares guys but you have to understand in months from now this is going to be getting hundreds of views if not thousands of views and i'm going to be selling thousands of dollars worth of products and i'm going to be making so much money now if you guys do have a marketing budget like myself you can make money up front like 31 dollars 31 dollars 81 dollars 31 31 which isn't getting me rich and again guys i have other brands doing that is like pennies compared to my other brands a thousand dollars with one of my other brands on july 14th if you guys look here july 14th july 13th the day before that we made 31 dollars. so 31 dollars compared to a thousand this is what i mean by long-term thinking long-term thinking is understanding that those zero dollar days or those 31 dollar days will eventually turn into thousand dollar days if i stay patient and persistent and then discipline what i mean by discipline you're not going to feel motivated to create content all the time and you're not going to feel motivated to upload consistently right but at the end of the day business how you treat your business is how it will treat you. Meaning, if you don't show up consistently, it's not gonna pay you consistently. So you can't just create YouTube videos when you feel like it or just show up when you feel like it. Don't miss an upload, period. If you commit to three videos per week, then follow through with three videos per week. And if you're very busy, prioritize time and set time aside to make sure you get this work done, period. Point blank, period. There's no arguing about this. There's no, well, what if, no, there's, uh, no. Just get it freaking done. And last but not least, some action steps. Basically, pick your niche, 
pick your brand name, create your channel, pick an offer, and start creating 